Okay guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys what a nervous house guest is. Um, so the developer recently added him into the game, um, like at 5 o'clock in the morning, uh, my time at least. Um, so I'll be showing you guys where he is. He has multiple spawn, spawn points, so I'll be showing you guys those too. Um, I'll be showing you guys uh, a way to make him friendly too. Um, pretty interesting, he can be friendly to you, he doesn't damage you when he's friendly. Um, so yeah, uh, don't get the wrong idea when he's friendly, he only is friendly to you. Um, he won't help anything, like, he won't help you do anything, he's just friendly to you. So yeah, um, I'll be getting right into this now. Okay, so his three main spawns are the Asylum, um, Housing Projects, and the Lodge. So those are his three main spawn, spawn points. Um, I'll be showing you guys one of them, so we'll get right there. Um, so the first spawn point, um, you want to go down here to where this thing is right here. You want to keep following this, and there's this little path that you want to go on. Um, okay, so this path right here again, I just found that you want to follow this path. You sort of want to go right here. Um, you want to keep following the path down here. Uh, then you want to break off the path. And you want to keep going down here where Milk Walker sort of is. But you don't want to run into Milk Walker. You want to keep going this way. So you want to go to the side of Milk Walker so he doesn't see you. Uh, and then you want to go all the way down here. And housing projects should be right here. So yeah, and there's also another of those roses um, that I'll be showing you guys what to do later in the video. So yeah, uh, he can spawn here. Let me see if he can, he just spawns here. Oh, there's an animal that's on his face. Um, so yeah, uh, he can spawn here. Um, I don't think he spawned here at the moment. So I'm gonna go to the next spawn location, which is at the ski lodge. Okay, guys. So the next spawn location he can spawn at is the asylum. Um, if you guys want to get to the asylum, you can follow my lead. Um, so if you find Wingo spot, you want to go from here to here to where my place is. Um, as you can see, where there's coal mines, that's actually my place. Um, so you want to keep following this path, uh, you can grab this rose if you want it, uh, if you want him to be friendly. Um, so yeah, I'll be going over here, and there's this thing right here, but you want to keep going down here, um, past this area where this rose is. And as you can see, there'll be this little area, you want to go to the side of that area, and here is the thing. Um, I'm not, I think he spawned here, yes, he spawned here, so yes, this is him. Um, he's huge, <laughs> he looks kind of... I don't know. In the night, let's see how it looks like when he, at night. I'm gonna check and see what it looks like at night. Um, dang. There's like, he looks scary. If you were to see this thing going up to you at night, <laughs> I probably would leave the game, to be honest. This thing looks kind of scary. Um, yeah, I like his look, though. It's like all white and stuff. His eyes look interesting, too. I like his animation a lot. Um, that's pretty nice. Uh, let's see how much damage he does to you. Come on, damage me. So, like, almost half your health. Dang, that's a lot. That's more than half your health, too. He does so much damage. Um, yes, he does a lot of damage. I wonder how much health he has. He probably doesn't get killed that easily. Um, he's super slow, so you probably don't even have to worry about, um, him reaching to you. Yeah, I'm just at normal speed, and he's, like, actually pretty slow. What is this? Wait, what? Okay. But he's pretty slow. By cryptid standards. He's probably one of the slowest ones here. Um, yeah. Totally. Um, but he's really powerful. So that counteracts it. Uh, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna kill him right now and see how much health he has. So let's, I can test it out with this thing right here. Let's see. So each one of these does, each of these does 4,000 damage per hit. Okay, so he has like, I don't know, 9,000 health? Um, I reckon he has 9,000 health. That's pretty, that's not a lot if you have this. Oh, and it spawns right near here, the seventh ending. Yeah, so yeah. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how to make him friendly. Okay, so if you guys wanna make house guests friendly, all you wanna do is you wanna find this flower, or this leaf, I guess. Um, you wanna go down here and you wanna click it. Um, just click it and it should be in your inventory. Yeah, it's called a rose. Um, so yeah, you can have this rose, and you want to give it to him. Um, I'll be showing you guys what it does when you give it to him. So yeah, I'll be right there in a second. Okay guys, so I've managed to find, um, him again at the asylum. I think that's the asylum. Yes, that's the asylum. Um, so now, you want the rose in your hand. I don't know why it's pointing outward, but it doesn't really matter. Um, so you want to click him, or do whatever. Yes, so now he has the rose. Um, so now he's nice to you. He won't damage anybody now. I mean, you can still kill him if you want to. Don't know why you would want to. I mean, he's nice now. Don't kill him when he's nice. That's kind of mean. Um, so yeah, he'll still follow you, but he just won't damage you. Pretty interesting, right? 
um, that grows in his hand. It's pretty cool, too. I like how he does that. I like how the dev added this option. Um, so basically, all he wanted was his rose. So, yeah, pretty nice. That's the only way to make a cryptid friendly. Um, if you guys are thinking, like, will he damage other cryptids? No, he won't. He's just friendly to you and to other people. So don't get the wrong idea. Some people might actually think it, they, it damages other people, but it doesn't. I mean, damages other cryptids, but it doesn't damage other cryptids. So it's just nice um to have this update here so yeah so that's basically all that's in this update um yeah okay guys so that was uh me finding nervous housecast um and how to make him friendly too uh so yeah so that's basically all if you guys want to join my discord it's in the link um and also next update should be about um Superman returning yes the next update should be about him um i thought it would be this update but i guess not um it'll be the next one um hopefully so yeah oh my god this dude is in the camera array um, anyway, so that's basically it, and if you guys like this video, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.